Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Ascended Armor sets. And I know what you're thinking, guys. What? Ike still plays this game? He still makes videos for League of Maidens? Yeah, yeah, I do. So let's let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you have to note is where can you get Ascended Armor? You just have to go to Centonia Islands, take the launcher, and just run straight forward into the building you see in front of you after landing, and you're going to be talking to Mr. Ascension Vendor here, who will, I mean, he'll have the Ascension armor. So I guess we'll go over the first question that probably crosses your minds. Is Ascended armor worth the cost? Is it worth even getting? Yes and no. It kind of really depends. Um, so for Warrior, it's totally worth it, because you get an attack stat on every single piece. It's great. You'll be really powerful. Uh, I personally have five out of six pieces of Ascended Armor. Well, sorry, I, I should uh, actually specify. I have three pieces of Ascended Armor and two pieces of Tier 2 Armor that I upgraded to Tier 3. I will be going for a fourth piece of Ascended Gear, however. And the reason it's so good on Warrior is because it gives you the attack stat, which is very, very important. Attack is king in this game. Crit is nice to have as well, but only if it's complementing attack and if i had to choose between having a bunch of crit and a bunch of attack i would just have a bunch of attack and no crit because a bunch of attack is going to do wonders for you however if you were to look at the other pieces that we have here so we'll start with the tank here the main stat or i should say the common secondary stat that you will be getting is defense that means that the only real worthwhile piece is the one piece that gives you attack and that goes for every single other class assassin set has crit as its secondary just a bunch of crit healer has a bunch of health and sorceress has a bunch of magic so pretty much what you're going to do is just take the one piece that has attack for each of those classes and throw it on and then the rest is going to be tier two set that you find and then upgrade now something i'd actually like to note for those of you who are worried about set bonuses if you have a tier three piece of armor and an ascended piece of armor they will both count towards the same stat bonus in fact, if you look at my armor, I have a set bonus of 5 out of 6. And that's with 2 pieces of tier 3 armor that was upgraded from tier 2 and 3 pieces of ascended armor. So don't worry. You don't have to have all ascended just to get the fancy little stat bonus for your armor set and class. That's just kind of the state of things right now. Um, because realistically, if you want to complete content in the game, you need to have attack. If you don't do damage, well... Have fun spending an hour and a half fighting Union. Now, that isn't to say that other stats are useless. I mean, other stats are definitely useful, but you can kind of tell that not much thought went into the stats that they gave. Now, like, you can see, okay, they gave magic to the sorceress. Fair. All right. That makes sense for the caster to have a lot of MP. Problem is... When you don't give damage along with that MP, it's kind of fucking worthless. But at the same time, I guess also you could say, hey, Sorceress is uh, great with animation canceling, so the more MP, the better. But I mean, eventually you're going to run into the issue of all of your skills being on cooldown, so what good does that do you anyways? Last thing I want to note is if you actually want to talk to this vendor, you need to hit chapter 5 in the story. Uh, if you don't do that, then he's just not going to show up. If you talk to Bishop James out here, he's just going to be like, Oh, Bishop Clark is not here. He's out on urgent business, meh. Now keep in mind, each piece of ascended gear is 120,000 shards. And yes, I know, if you're farming for your battle pass, that's already an insane amount of shards that you have to spend. But realistically, this is only an issue if you're a warrior. I would say... If you're not a warrior, just get the one piece that you need from the vendor. Call it good. Get everything else as tier 2 and upgraded. And try to get everything you can with attack and crit. Because those are going to be your bread and butter, baby. But if you don't get crit, don't feel bad. Just make sure you have attack. Having 300 attack on your character is already going to make it so you can clear all the content. Having 400 plus means you're going to wreck everything with ease. Like, you will melt things. I'm at 494. I guarantee you I can delete a plus 15 Isis in Strongholds. I was able to delete her before I had 494. As soon as I hit 400 attack on a warrior, baby, you're golden. And that's it for this video, guys. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you all in the next one.